Okay, so we are on to viruses. So yesterday was about bacteria, today is about viruses. Um, so well, let's jump right in. You need your salmon note packet. Uh, we kind of already talked about viruses back with that table. So there's a lot of this should be refresher, but there might be some new stuff here or there. Um, so a virus is a small, non-living particle that invades and reproduces inside a living cell. So remember we talked last time that um, viruses actually are not considered living to most scientists because they, one, don't have a cell, and two, they cannot reproduce without a host. So that, um, so they are not cells. I jumped the, good, oh goodness. And they do not use energy to grow, so they themselves do not grow. So think of yourself. Um, you were once a teeny tiny baby, um, and you have since grown, you know, less teeny tiny. Same thing with kitties and puppies. They start tiny and cute, and a lot of them get big and fat and overweight like my cat. Yeah. Um, these viruses, though, do not grow up. They don't use any energy. Um, they stay the same size for the short time period that is their life. Um, they can only multiply when they are inside of a living cell. So that's another key factor for why they are considered non-living. They cannot make babies. They cannot reproduce by themselves at all. Um, so remember, they need to in invest or uh, invade. Goodness gracious. They need to invade a host. Um, the host is going to be the source of energy. It's going to be um, where they actually do all the reproduction and most likely the host is going to die as a result. And when I say the host, I mean the host cell. Um, so when you, if you get the flu, you're not going to die, most likely. <laughs> not on wood. Um, but you're going to have a lot of cells that do die. That's why you hurt. Um, you have cells that are dying all throughout your body. Um, so... Remember I said when the, the virus lands on the moon and then they take a poop on the moon and then the moon explodes at the end. That's what I'm talking about here is that moon exploding. Um, so here's a nice picture. Um, you can see some of those spaceships coming down and landing. Uh, this little green squiggle here is the DNA being pooped or injected into the host cell, which is this yellow blob. So once inside the host, um, the virus's genetic material can take over. Um, so at that point, the DNA is going to be inserted into the host, and the host is going to replicate it. Um, genetic material directs the host to produce new viruses. So this is all just more detail on how the virus is going to reproduce. Basically, what I need you to know, and I've tried to simplify this for you, one, the virus is going to land on the moon. Two, it's going to poop on the moon. Three, that host cell is going to copy DNA. Four, the virus causes the host cell to explode. Okay, so that's really what I need you just at the bare minimum. Um, that's all you need to know here. Um, vaccines, a lot of you guys, uh, well, all of you, if you're sitting in our classroom, you have to be vaccinated. So you have all sorts of vaccines um, that you got when you were just teeny tiny babies. And then you've probably gotten some more since then. Um, I know that there's a new vaccine you get around 13, 14 years old. Um, and then you can keep getting vaccinated for the flu every single year if you want. Um, so these are made from dead or altered viruses or bacteria. Okay, so what they do is they take the bacteria, they take out all the bad stuff, just to be sure, they make sure everything's dead and sterilized and good, good to go, and then they're going to inject that into your body, and your body then builds up an immunity to it. So you might have heard of that word before, your immune system. That's what prevents you from getting sick. Um, once you have a vaccine, you cannot get that virus. So... Um, I never got the chicken pox because I received the chicken pox virus or vaccine when I was a baby. Um, so I will never, ever get the chicken pox because of that shot when I was young. Okay, so looks like that's it. Um, when you are finished with this slide, make sure you go back to Google Classroom or you look up on the front whiteboard and you do what you are told to do next.